Metro Bassin kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Bass boat making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Today we're doing a special little mail call from a Bassin buddy of mine. His name is Big Minnow Mike, and he's got a up and coming YouTube channel and definitely has an affinity for the old timey. I recently sent a package to Big Minnow Mike and he did an unboxing video and put it on his channel. I'll drop a link to that video down below. Lucky for me, Mike sent a little care pack which I've been sitting on for a day or two, but the time has come to crack this bad boy open. I've got a feeling this little box is going to have some old timey goodness. Mike's got uh, definitely an affinity for the old school stuff. Like I do, in fact, we've been geeking out a little bit about all things from old lures to old records. So I'm really curious to see what he sent. <laughs> By the way, if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish it old school, I'm talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment from the golden era of bass fishing. Stick around, consider subscribing, and be sure to hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know we post a new video like this one. So I'm really curious what is in here. You know, most of the mail that we get on Retro Bass, and I kind of have an idea or an inkling because quite frankly, I bought most of it. Um, this is truly a mystery care pack. <laughs> I think there's a VHS in here, so. <laughs> You know, oh no, oh check it out, that is a, okay, so the first thing that he sent is this, this is awesome, it is a Sega Genesis game, it's TNN Outdoors Bass Tournament 1996, oh man, I, honestly, I think I lost my Sega Genesis sometime before college, but man, um, I might have to get one just to crack this bad boy open and check it out. So here it is. It's the TNN BASS or Bass, I think it's Bass Tournament Trail. Uh, second annual tournament contest with grand prizes. TNN Outdoors Bass Tournament 96 brings you the best fishing game ever. Fish the tournaments or just settle back and drop your line. It's all the action, fun, and challenge of the real thing. Uh, right in your living room. Wow, that is awesome. And you can see some of the old-timey graphics right there. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you, Mike. That's uh, right out of the gates. Come on, ball. Oh, a little bit of a letter. We'll check into that now. Let's see what it says. It says, hey, Chris. Thank you again for the awesome box of retro goodness. Beyond gracious, um, I wanted to send you a few items that I haven't seen in your collection. Uh, I fish a lake called uh, Lakine and was just minutes away from Amsterdam, Missouri, a home of the Bass Buster Lure Company. I thought it would be fitting to throw in some hometown Bass Buster baits. Awesome! Uh, I also threw in a grass frog junior. I think I saw in your video that it was the first bait you ever caught a bass on. This is true. Uh, then added some NOS uh, leader from the 1960s, a pack of cream worms from the 70s, and a couple of spin right that may come in handy this year. Uh, definitely a bait that I've been fishing a pretty good bit. Uh, I know, uh, let's see here, it's not as much as you sent, but uh, as I double up on old school lures, I'll send them your way. Uh, keep fishing at old school buddy, Big Minnow Mike. And a bonus surprise, which you already got to, was the 1996... A <laughs> Sega Genesis game. Awesome. Ooh, all right. Let's check this stuff out. 
so he uh, was right. First thing out of the package is this. Or in the package, I'm sorry. A Grass Frog Jr. Oh, that is an awesome old school bait. I love this bait. I haven't fished the Junior as much as the standard size one. But yeah, he is correct. But the first largemouth bass I ever caught was on this bait. Um, in fact, I remember that little bass. I think it was probably like a one pounder at this point. Come out of a um, little weed bed. He took my grass frog underwater. It was so clear that I could see him literally down there about three feet down, shaking his head at this thing until I finally got the nerve to, to set the hooker or, or do my best impersonation of Bill Dance. Uh, that is really cool. And by the way, sticking with the Sega Genesis theme, it, as seen on TNN Cable Outdoors, Bill Dance. I've got a few of these out of the package and come summertime in Texas, we're definitely gonna be throwing a little grass frog. Oh, check it out. So it is the original cream wiggle worm. Uh, the historic bait that was really the, the foundation of the Texas rig. Uh, still based in Tyler, Texas, by the way. I've been talking to the folks at Cream, and as soon as everything sort of settles down, I'm going to go out there and take a little bit of a plant tour. There's some baits that they've re-released recently that honestly I'm pretty pumped about. Uh, including the tube worm, if you know anything about this. Um, but here's a nice pack of three pack of cream. Uh, and before this was called a scoundrel, it was called the wiggle bait. And that's what this one says. A nice little purple into a pink tail. Which, by the way, is sort of an old school look to it too, isn't it? Awesome. Oh, check these out. Okay, so we've got some old school South Bend metal leaders. That is like the weirdest thing. It's like a two inch metal leader. I don't know what sort of fishing scenario you would do to be fishing with that. That's pretty wild. But it's like a little metal leader, a little three pack. Um, won't cut, won't fray, won't uh, rot, won't kink. Uh, Let's see here. Easy change vinyl casting leaders. I have no idea what scenario uh, you would be using those for. Maybe you put that ahead of a spoon for pickerel or pike or something like that, but it's pretty short. Awesome, dude. Thank you, man. Ooh, and I see some Bass Buster goodness in here. So what's cool about the old school Bass Buster baits and what I love about them is they had some really wild profiles. We all know the classic beetle spin, which is, I think, pretty much the only one that's available today. But back in the day, they used to have a number of different varieties. So here's one called Whale Tails. Natural swimming action attracts fish, and it triggers more strikes. So that is a three-piece with a little jig head, which you can see right up there. So that is a wild-looking little bait. I bet that that thing glides down rather uh, slowly. So here's another one from Bass Buster. It's called Sizzle Tails. Pulsating action drives fish wild. Looks like almost like a marabou tail of some sort. And that would totally work. Of course, I'm not going to open it, but if I did. Twinkle Tails. I've never even heard of that. So that looks like some sort of almost mylar. Hopefully the camera can pick up the, the metallic look of that. That is pretty wild, man. Twinkle Tails catches um, the light to catch more fish. What you can see Bass Buster was clearly doing is taking that classic grub body and adding a variety of different tails. All these are pretty similar um, north of the tail. And here we go, the classic beetle spin in, honestly, that's almost like a redfish size uh, beetle spin. That thing is huge. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. That's like pinky finger sized beetle spin there. That's pretty wild. But it's actually, notice this says just the beetle. It's not even the spin. And I don't know how you fish the beetle. And all, all these, by the way, notice it's just a jig head and the lure itself. So I guess it's more of a, a non weedless jig of some sort. And last but not least, Bass Buster Crazy Tails. I do actually have a few of these out of the package. 
but you can check it out there. Another three pack with a jig head. So that is really cool. Um, five different varieties of Bass Buster baits uh, from Big Minnow Mike. Thank you, man. Oh, and here we go. A couple more of these. I have actually been burning through a little bit of these as of late. The vintage old school Uncle Josh Spin Right. Um, this is a bait that we fished on one of the lakes me and Bluetooth Brandon hit pretty often um, just outside of Austin. And this is a money little bait for schooling bass. But ironically enough, I didn't realize when we did the episode on this bait, I didn't realize that Uncle Josh was not the original manufacturer of the spin right bait. And I was wandering through a Bass Pro Shops. I think it might have been outside of Memphis. And I found this. And I just happened to have that sitting by. So this is the uh, Petty Goes Spin Right. I just picked this bait up, and you can see because of the Gamagatsu, this was a revamp or a reboot of the old bait. And on the back, um, there is uh, the lore inventor Pedigo himself. So apparently, there's a website on here, there's a lot of stuff. This was, I'm guessing, maybe a family member of the original designer of this bait, which of course looks pretty similar to a uh, man's Little George. This was re-released at some point. I found this in the bargain bin at Bass Pro Shops. And by the time I got home to check out the website, to try to find a little bit more, the company had gone out of business. So this, although it's a new bait, is already a discontinued bait. So this is the quarter ounce Pedigo Spin Right. And I'll actually read this for you guys because I was kind of bummed after I did that episode on the Spin Right that I didn't know more of the history of that bait. And ironically enough, here it is. So the Pedigo spin rate was first invented in 1956 by Cecil Pedigo in Bowling Green, Kentucky. My grandfather, Armand Honkener, uh, in the photograph, was one of his fishing buddies and an avid admirer of the lure. Billy Westmoreland made the bait famous in the 1970s. It was one of his favorites and caught his largest smallie, 10 8, on a spin rate at Dale Hollow Lake. Known for its slow tailspin action in deep, clear waters, it is also very effective for largemouth bass, white bass, trout, and game fish with an appetite. The lure was all but forgotten over recent decades, and it is our pleasure to bring it back for another generation to experience. Go to pettygolures.com to read more about the rich history. I'm glad I picked up a couple of these. I almost wish I'd gotten more, and I'm a little bit bummed that they reissued this bait and clearly did not get enough press to, uh, to continue on. But there is an original Pedigo spin right side by side with the modern day equivalent. Well, Bass and Buds, be sure to head on over to Big Minnow Mike's YouTube channel. He's got some pretty cool content on there, and I've got a feeling you're gonna recognize some of the baits that you see him feature. So it's kind of funny, but uh, Big Minnow Mike and I have been throwing back uh, some text messages talking about different old school things that we're into. Surprise, surprise, my affinity for the uh, discontinued and vintage does not end with fishing lures. At some point, I'm gonna show you guys my record collection and some other old-timey goodness. I thought Mike might appreciate this. <laughs> so I don't know how I got on this kick, but I, I'm in the process of hopefully revamping the studio. Um, I wanna almost make it like an old-school tackle shop, a la the Museum for Browns Derby, in Bass Pro Shops. Somehow on an eBay rabbit hole, I found this. It's not fishing related, but I think you guys are going to get a laugh when you see what I picked up. You're probably asking why. It's a lot of bubble. <laughs> so I had been jonesing to get an old school clock radio. It's funny, there's a couple of different people that I follow on Instagram. 
One I think is called Growing Up in the 80s, and they had a photo of one of the old school clock radios. I remember growing up, my dad had, I think it was this exact same radio. It's a GE clock radio with the dial. <laughs> And I've got a feeling the first time this thing alarms, my wife's gonna kill me. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass. 